This issue started. I can say this issue started from last two years. So when our seniors used to wear uh, hijab, uh, they were allowed to wear hijab, but uh, they were uh, they were uh, so many discrimination faced by uh, uh, like they had to face so many discrimination. Like the the, the lecturers used to pull their hijab. Uh, they used to uh, they should not uh, concern about their studies. If they ask any doubt, they should not clear their doubts. And so many discrimination. And uh, when I joined that college, when I wore the uh, when I wore the uh, hijab in my first PUC in my 11th, uh, they uh, they forced me to remove it. And later on, they said that you can't wear hijab, uh, and uh, it's written in our circular. So then I got to know that uh, soon after uh, lockdown took place, and then I got to know that there is no such uh, there was a circular, but there is no such uh, such thing written in that that hijab is not allowed in the college. Um, yeah, there was no such thing written in that, and uh, that circular does not read anything about hijab. It was just that. Uh, uniform is compulsory, and we are not denying from uh, uh, wearing uniform. We are wearing uniform, and upon that uh, same color, the color of the uniform, same color of the uniform shawl, we are just putting a head scarf. And uh, later on, in second, when we joined second PUC, there were uh, for a long time there was an online class, and when uh, it uh, when offline class started, uh, we sent our parents to request uh, our principal to uh, to convince them to allow us to wear hijab. So. Uh, 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 so our uh, uh, our parents went to our principal more than three four times, and they requested him. Uh, they tried to convince him, but we did not get any positive response. Uh, our principal used to ignore our parents, and he did not give any positive response. Later on, our uh, our later on our uh, our parents told that uh, enough of requesting because uh, he is not uh, bothering about you. You and enough of requesting. Go and wear the hijab. So when we uh, at the time when we started wearing hijab, from that time to now, we have been not allowed to enter the class. So, uh, so there were many threats uh, we are facing. I, uh, so we got many threats and many I can say discrimination done in that college. We can't do salam to each other just because uh, just because we are wearing hijab. Uh, they are discriminating. We are not allowed inside the class. Uh, we are getting threats from our local MLA that. If you wear hijab, you uh, the action will be taken upon you, and uh, uh, there are many, 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 uh, many discrimination done in that college. And uh, I can see right now there is no equality in that college. In the name of equality, they are telling uh, uh, you are not allowed to wear hijab. So I think uh, uh, by not giving us way to hijab, that is not the equality. And uh, Uh, I just uh, right now I'm just hoping that tomorrow the judgment it's a judgment day and a very big day for us because uh, after one and half month of struggle, uh, inshallah tomorrow we'll get a justice. Uh, we are hoping for a, a positive result and uh, I I have trust in my judicial system. I have trust in my democratic country and uh, of course our judge will keep the constitution values uh, on the top and uh, give a judgment on behalf of us. on behalf of us thank you okay. on behalf of us thank you okay